Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know yesterday was a big day with icon swaps being released and everybody is kind of in the middle of their grind right now. Whatever that grind is for you, getting tokens to get fodder packs, getting tokens to get big time 92 plus prime or moments, prime icon player pick, moments kind of all, whatever you're grinding towards, towards swap. It's a really good time to do that because of how quiet the content is. But on the news side of things, awaiting what content is coming for the fantasy foot team number two we have some leaks to talk about and with those leaks and the players that have been leaked to come in team two of this promo there's a lot of conversation about players that we've seen before whether it's from previous promos um, or something like that or SBCs or objectives that we've seen previously during this year of FIFA a lot of people are saying that these players they're releasing are like recycled right there's a lot of players again like I mentioned that we have seen before that have other promo cards and some people are unhappy with that because they feel like EA is just using the same players over and over, giving them upgrades to kind of go in line with the power curve. And that has some people unhappy because they want new, fresh and exciting cards. And there's a lot of players, of course, in FIFA, there's a lot of potentials to get promo cards. So I want to take a look at some of that because, you know, there's a lot of aspects to consider when you talk about is EA just, you know, taking the easy way out and giving us players that we have seen before. I mean, we have a couple repeats from Fantasy Foot in the promo right now, like Rashford, right? Gelson Martins, those guys have already had um, promo cards earlier on this year from other promos. But I think there's some other things that we have to consider. And I also think that EA is giving us some really brand new and fresh content with some awesome special cards. So I just want to kind of present both sides of the coin for you today in this video and talk through that since that it is in the news right now. And of course, talk to you about these players that we will see that are leaked as a part of fantasy foot team number two. Now, like I said, with icon swaps, um, the game right now, everybody is just focused on these objectives. I was playing icon swaps yesterday. We'll talk you through that fodder is up even more as a lot of people were doing this exact same thing, going out, getting their swap tokens, and then going and doing fodder packs and crafting SBCs like Mbappe, the icon player pick, other SBCs that are still available. And here in the store, there was a lot of fodder movement yesterday and the meta market is really just chilling. It is, it is really not a ton of movements, but after rewards yesterday, there were some nice upticks in prices on the market in some of these cards. I made, honestly, if you're looking at my coin total, almost a million coins yesterday. I made a really big move on the Lucas Mora. Uh, I bought him because he was being panic sold and made almost a million coins on all the cards that are here on the transfer list. It was it was a pretty big day after awards. It was a nice, it was a big money Monday is what we called it in the Twitter post yesterday. So we're gonna talk all of that and what might be changing things up on the market today on Tuesday inside of this game. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Now let's get right to it. Again, we mentioned at the beginning of the video some fantasy foot team two leaks and what we're expecting to see as a part of the second week of this promo. We've talked about Usman Dembele, right? But this is where the discussion begins. As you see Sheriff saying, and a lot of people responding to this in the same manner, he already had a promo card, Rule Breakers, and they're not super happy about it, right? Well, the list continues. Rodrigo, this is a new one. Um, he doesn't have any really special cards this year beside a, besides a ones to watch, and with his injuries that he's had, hasn't had a ton of um, opportunities to get upgrades, but Rodrigo, that's a nice looking card. That could be an SBC since it's a little bit lower rated potentially. Um, Here's where it gets pretty good, though. Coutinho, that's a pretty nice card. Now, this is, again, where the conversation continues because people are like, man, Coutinho had a Winter Wild Cards SBC. But I will say one good part about this Coutinho is he's transferred, right? He's now in the Prem, right? He was at Barcelona before. This has this card has different links, still probably with the five-star skills unless they do something hideous to his card, but uh, that's going to be a fun item. It's going to be in packs, most likely, I would assume. So I like that one, right? I'm not going to lie. Going back up, Awar. This is one that people are kind of critical of as well. Yes, we do have a Winter Wild Cards Awar that a lot of people have used. These stats for this card, they look pretty good. 74 defense seems a little bit low, but that card still looks really, really insane for the power curve at this stage of the game. French meta, of course, fits right in with a lot of people and what they want to do. Here's a brand new one. Gabriel Martinelli. We're just going through the leaks right now really fast. Official stats, 87 rated, 97 pace, 88 dribble, 87 shot, 83 pass. That's a dope card. No specials for him this year. I'm a fan of that one. Brazil left mid in the prem. Nice links. Great card. Kind of reminds you of the future stars Martinelli back in the day, right? 
Mr. Bamba here, a all, another card from Rule Breakers, as Foot Sheriff mentions. Stats official, 97 pace, 90 dribble, 84 shot, 83 pass, 80 physical. So boom, there's another card that we've seen have a special before. Still a very meta card. Stats are a little bit lackluster on this on this dude, but not super crazy. I mean, he's still going to be a good card in game. Fits the meta very well. And then I think the last one that we had was Alexandro. Um... That's his first promo card of the year. So a 90 pace, another Brazil left back um, in the game to kind of, you know, Ren and Lodi, Alex Tellez have some competition. And then we did have one leak uh, late tonight. Now this one take with a grain of salt, of course, it's not from Mr. Sheriff, but a tall. And that would be, that'd be a pretty big card. Now, again, a tall would be another one of those, like we just said, that has had a promo card from earlier on this year. And again, that's where a lot of people, I think this graphic kind of summarizes it pretty well. You can't see it. I'll hide my face cam for a second. Boom. You see the rule breakers right there, right? Or if I do this, boom, rule breakers. You see that? That's kind of what everybody's talking about right now is that so many of these fantasy foot cards are cards that have been released before. Now, I want to talk about this a little bit because I think it's it's worth pointing out since so many people are not happy with EA. Again, you see here, boring cards, recycled promo. That's what you know. he's kind of saying as the leaker of all these items that are coming out. It's a really big complaint, but I'll be honest, we see this just about every single year because think about it. We are in April and the way that EA does promos and stuff throughout the year, yes, they drop brand new cards at every promo um, and they try to make things interesting and they spice it up, but also from a business perspective, EA has to sell packs and they have to make money. So they know they know the cards that people in FIFA will want to use. They know that Awar fits into so many people's teams they know martinelli is going to fit into a lot of people's teams right brand new card for him great right bamba they know that people are going to want to use a french left mid a brazil left back like alexandro even another version of coutinho since he is transferred to the prem that's going to get some people hype maybe spend some fever points try to pack these cards get coins buy them off the market right same thing for usman dembele so that's where EA is coming from, from this, right? Yes, they have released these cards in promos in previous um, releases throughout the year. This year, Rule Breakers or uh, Signature Signings or the Winter Wild Cards promos where we saw a decent amount of these cards. And But yes, this also was from very earlier on in the year, right? Usman Dembele, these cards, Rule Breakers were out. And what is this? This is like the end of October or early November. So it's been a while since some of these guys have had a second special card whether it's an inform or something like that or whatever uh and again you know the big names and the meta cards they sell packs but also one thing to consider is there are more and more promos run every single year we've seen more promos run this year than ever in terms of ea releasing promos every single friday with barely any weeks off so there's bound to be more recycled or, or more cards that have their second or third special card just because you know like we have a claustrophobia right now in foot fantasy they're just releasing more promos, so they're going to end up redoing a couple of those players like we have seen in this promo right now. It's all about balance, I think, right? It's bound to happen because we have more promos and because EA knows that people want to, you know, have meta cards that are popular. They're going to fit in a lot of their teams like the Dembele, like we were just talking about. But I think EA is balancing it out really well because, again, if you take a look at Team 1 of Foot Fantasy... We have guys like Nani, no special cards at all this year until this one. It's a position change, five star, five star item, and it's a huge boost. I'm a big fan of that one, right? Nobody's talking about how they gave us a Nani or a Kamavinga or a Stones or a Van de Beek or a Rashford. Yes, he didn't have a card before, but this one has a weak foot upgrade, which makes him a lot more usable, right? St. Maximin, for goodness sake, the most expensive card and the most overpriced card still in this game, in my opinion. First promo card of the year, right? So I think if you're going to be a little bit critical of EA here and say, I don't understand why you're re-releasing some of these cards. I mean, think about it from this. They want to sell packs. And also there's been more promos this year than ever. And they're still releasing cards that are brand new that we haven't had any specials for this entire year. Rusilion, Odriozola, Chieta Balde. Uh, we did have a Lucas Mora, but this one is a different position. And, you know, I, that kind of differentiation for me is, is enough justification to release another card. So all, all I'll say is this in ending as well. I really don't have a problem with it. I understand where EA is coming from. I think they're doing a decent job at balancing some cards that are new and some cards that are refreshed with better versions because the power curve has, of course, gone up. 
But also there's these cards that EA released for the very first time. Um, and, you know, EA might release this card and be like, oh, sick. People are going to like this because it's something different. It's something cool. doesn't have any special cards this year. Um, but then people hate on this Caliaguri SBC that's like 45,000 coins because, oh, it's not cool enough. But this is his only special card. They gave him a skill move upgrade. His stats look cracked. He's medium high. I mean, yeah, he's not going to fit into your PSG French meta rat side but for 40,000 coins who cares right that is cool content from EA Sports so that's just kind of my take again I'm not really siding one way on the issue I I'm pleased with the cards that EA have been releasing I'm not going to take issue with the fact that there are some duplicates and some cards that have been released in this last promo and in the second week uh, of this upcoming week of Fantasy Foot that are duplicate items. Um, I I'm just going to enjoy the cards that we have and stay positive with it because I think there's a ton of great cards that are out right now. Um, and I think that some of these boosts, like nobody uses Rule Breakers Claustrum anymore, but you'd use this card at this stage of the game because, again, the power curve has extended. So those are all my thoughts related to that stuff. And those are some of the leaks. We're probably going to continue to see a few more leaks as we head throughout the week. I know that it is early to talk about leaks on a Tuesday for the Friday promo, but since they're rolling out and since I think people are kind of decided that the content for Fantasy Foot is a little bit on the quieter side, you know, you have that news coming out even earlier than you normally do. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think, because I see both sides of the argument, right? I know that people want new and fresh players all the time. I think we're getting that. But I also think you got to think about it from EA's perspective and they want to make money and they know what sells because meta, popular and hype sells in this game. So that's why they're going to release another Dembele, another Gelson Martins, you know, another um, Lucas Mora or Klosterman on this game because they know the people will want those items. So again, let me know what you think down in the comments, but let's move on, right? Because there's a lot of other things to talk about in this game. Of course, yesterday, again, as we mentioned, the whole hype of the day was icon swaps. I even got some icon swaps done myself. I finished two online objectives. One thing that I guess I was not a huge fan of was the, the squad battle swaps are literally copy pasta from the first nine tokens the only thing that changed in here was they swapped out efl championship for germany last time so now people are again a little bit frustrated because you have to play 18 games of squad battles uh, with combining these if you can combine like silver air division first owner then you still have to do efl championship and league of portugal um, for your squad battles games you can't just do you know, all of these objectives with 12 games, you need to do 18. So some people are not super happy about that. I wish they would have mixed it up a little bit, right? Give us an opportunity to use different leagues. Why not, right? Just mix it up. And then of course the online ones, they're pretty easy. No scoring with crosses. Uh, it was just finesse shots, through balls. So those were pretty easy as well. I was decently happy with that. One tip that I will give you guys, we talked about this on the Clips channel and we talked about it on stream as well. If you're playing your squad battles matches, and if you don't care too much, or if you've played your allotment of matches already or whatever for your squad battles rating, you don't care about getting points to get rank up and better rewards, you can play against the featured team of the week because for some reason this week, EA released a full team of the week um, 11 of goalkeepers. That was the chosen squad, the featured team of the week this week. So... Um, I think that, you know, this is a squad you can play against multiple times. If you just play a game back out and then come back in, you don't have to update opponents or anything, except when you play against the same squad multiple times, it won't count for your score up in the top right. But if you're playing squad battles with silver cards and you're matching up against the opponents that it gives you here with like these insane squads, then, uh, you know, if you don't care about your rating too much and you don't want to try to update the opponents every time until you, you catch an easy squad, like right now, I don't have any easy squads. 79 rated 52 chemistry these are still gold cards except for a few of them so you know I, I would recommend doing that if you don't care about your score that's just a little bit of a hack i guess for getting your squad battles games done just a little bit easier but of course with everybody playing squad battles there wasn't a lot going on with the market now one thing i did happen was some of your fantasy foot cards bounced back a little bit as there was a lot of people that bought them up from rewards um, you know, you, you take a look at some of these guys' graphs from yesterday and they had a solid rise. I think Nani right now is right around 520K. So he is still up from where he was. 
if we take a look at some of these cards and their graphs from yesterday, and we expect this, right? We talked about this in the video last night as well. We expected a rise. Nani was 470. I picked up five of them here, sold them around right here, like 510 to 515. So it made like 15, 20K a card on, on those, around 15K. He went up to a little bit further than that after content because some people that don't really care to grind swaps or whatever, or of course, a lot of people bought cards here at the same time I did. They were worried about selling them before the 6 p.m. content. Nothing insane comes for content. So the supply kind of dwindles as those people have finished listing, but there's still a little bit of demand for people that want to go out and try these brand new cards. So you saw that Nani go up to 530. Same thing with Lucas Mora, right? Huge, huge fluctuation with Mora. He was 1.1 mil last night, got panic sold big time down to 800K. And I actually picked up um, I picked up 16 Lucas Moores right here at the, around the 800 to 815,000 coin mark. And I sold all of them right around here between 900 and 950. Uh, I literally made almost a million coins. That was my biggest move that I've done in a long time doing that yesterday. So there was a lot of movement after rewards, but after content yesterday, there really wasn't a lot. A couple cards bounced back up. Some of your out of pack specials, um, you know, some of your, especially Bundesliga, um, La Liga and Premier League specials moved a bit. I, I think specifically of this Erling Holland, right? Some people, even though you need some first owner cards to do the online friendlies, uh, you still see people going out and buying a few cards off the market. Like this Holland was 370, went to 415. Right now he's kind of chilling at like 380. If this guy went back down to like 370, 365, I'd buy him again, right? Because he is one of the best strikers in the Bundesliga. And that is one of the online friendly teams that you need to use to get icon swap objectives done. So you saw a bit of movement on some of these cards on the market yesterday. I would still recommend if you're trying to make some coins, quick flips, it's the out of packs market. That's the place to go. So just keep a watch on that stuff. Now, again, of course, uh, myself included, a lot of people with swaps yesterday going out and getting their rewards from swaps. A lot of people were claiming 82, 83, 81 times 25 packs, which is exactly what I did. My swaps journey is done, right? I get the three fodder packs and I'm out of there. And those packs yesterday, I opened the 82 times 25, didn't really get a lot from it, but it enabled me to finish um, two more squads of Mbappe, which is of course what a lot of people are doing. And you can tell that people are doing this because of two different things. We're gonna go back to Flipbin for this. Sorry to keep switching screens, but you can see the Mbappe price, 2.45 million coins is what he is. Take a look at his price yesterday. At rewards, he was 2.2 mil. You see him rise as people are buying fodder after rewards and then with no content, no supply, and still demand from people having fodder from those packs, then going out and buying the rest of the squads to finish off this SBC. This SBC has gone up like 300,000 coins in two days because a lot of people are buying fodder and you take a look at the prices as well. And maybe we can even zoom in on like the index 86 for a second here and look at this too. 86s are 18,000 coins, 88s are 35K a pop. I mean, these cards are booming once again. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me let me take a look at like Neuer. Neuer's 58,000 coins. What was he yesterday before rewards? He was 53K, went down to 51. Boom, he was 60K at one point yesterday. The All this fodder is flying because people are doing SBCs. There's really not a lot of content, but there's SBCs that people want to grind. And like I mentioned, they're getting fodder packs from Icon Swaps, getting those done. And that's, you know, encouraging them to go and do SBC. So that's why you see this stuff. I don't really expect a lot more supply today. The only supply that we could maybe see would be some sort of like daily pack supply SBC. If they release another one of these um, challenges for like a dream team challenge like we had a couple days ago, I think we will get another fantasy foot challenge SBC. But so far, all of these have been untradeable except for this random two players pack that they released two days ago on Sunday. So they might release another one of these today that could drop fodder a little bit, but more so just hold it in check because as long as we don't have any other content today that is like a gamble pack, which technically Tuesdays have been gamble pack days before, um, who knows what content is coming today? You know, 85 plus times three. I know we had that last week, three days in a row. If we had that again this week, you would probably see those 84s, 85s, 86s go up even further because there's really no good upgrade packs right now for people to try to go out and pack these fantasy foot cards because the fantasy or the upgrades that we have right now are they're not good the 82 plus that they dropped yesterday is it's awful it, it's a pack not a player pick um and it, it just does not have a good pack weight it, it just really is confusing like ea i was really hoping for something to grind this week that would be cost efficient that would be 
decent value from the rewards that you get back but these upgrade packs like never hit so it's very unfortunate that it's going to be harder to grind an SBC like mbappe this week if you were really hoping to like i was just because there's not there's not upgrade packs that you can go do 80 plus player picks um and get these done so these are really just not good i got i think i did like three of these yesterday i got an 84 and 282s and then we did a share play with another one with some guy had 10 of them we got one walkout and probably like six 82s a couple 83s and an 84 like it was bad it was really really bad uh the the weight on these and the 82 to 88 is not that much better and it's only two two less cards to submit for the 82 to 88 compared to the 82 plus so it's just a bummer that we don't have good upgrade packs this week but it is what it is um and that's just going to put more emphasis on fodder this week as people are doing swaps getting those rewards and going out and doing other player sbcs that's where the focus is going to be so again today on uh, tuesday content i really do think that we could have th there's got to be something here to spice it up we haven't had that antonio sbc yet that was leaked to be coming uh pretty soon so maybe we'll get a finally another player sbc today it feels like it's been a nice long wait since we had caliguri and tonali uh saturday for caliguri so maybe today i know i've said it for the past couple of days but maybe today it's going to be the day uh where we actually see another player sbc on the game but hopefully they give us something else in here content wise in the menus to spice it up a little bit another you know a year interview player pick no thanks that expires in three days but you know we also have the mid or prime that expires tomorrow um and I, we'll see maybe 85 times three maybe an 84 plus player pick Hopefully there's something today that brings out a little bit more hype inside of this promo, although it's it seems like kind of a quieter week and it seems kind of similar to foot birthday, right? Where a lot of the hype is just with the players that are in packs and uh, on the market and, and there's not as much hype for the SBCs. Although, as we have mentioned, the SBCs have been pretty good value so far. We're two for two on good value fantasy foot player SBC. So we'll see what EA continues to do with that today and where their motivations take them inside of the content today but that's kind of bit that's that's going to kind of be the video the video for today i know a lot of you guys are grinding swaps i know a lot of you guys are wanting to know hey what should i do if i want to buy any of these fantasy foot players i mean i'm holding off 100 percent. i'm not buying any of these cards anything on the market right now we are at such a high point and an inflated point where the content in the game is not good enough to make people sell the cards they have in their teams that they're trying out and they're spending coins for um, and people are excited about the upgrades for these cards, which again, still aren't going to happen for two to three to four weeks. I mean, two weeks max before the games even start. Uh, so I just think that a lot of cards are kind of inflated at this point. And, you know, as we head into the next three, four weeks, it's definitely, there's way more downside than upside for a lot of these cards, even though stuff on the market is maintaining its price at the moment so just be relatively careful with some of those cards and maybe even start to think about getting liquid before team of the season before we get into any of these preparation for team of the season market crash and stuff like that uh probably still a few weeks away but people will start preparing even as soon as now um as we start to get closer to that time frame so that's kind of all for the video today. Again, let me know what your comments down are down below about what you think about this Fantasy Foot promo. I think there's some really cool cards coming out with Team 2, as we've looked at in the past couple days with the leaks that are coming out. So we'll probably have some more information on that today. Hopefully EA spice it up today on Tuesday with some Fantasy Foot SBC content. That will be very much appreciated on this game. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit, leave a thumbs up on it. Again, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.